Here at Riverbank Zoo, we have lots of animals that are carnivores, and today we're going to get up close with two of them that enjoy eating meat and watermelons. Here to help us figure that out is Assistant Curator of Mammals, Sue Pa. Hi, Sue. Hi, Katie. Thank you so much for coming out to Thanks chat with us Thanks for having today. me join you. Good. Now, whose home are we standing in front of right now? We are in front of the hyena exhibit, and right behind us there are Callie and Huck. And they are two males that we got from Milwaukee Zoo about mm -hmm. five years ago. And they are carnivores. Carnivores. Now, what would they eat in the wild? In the wild, hyenas pretty much hunt a lot of their prey items in a clan. And they usually hunt gazelles, wildebeest, zebra. You know, a lot of people think they're scavengers. Right. Like, so oh, they're hunters. hyenas are just going to scavenge. But right. they're actually excellent predators. And they even top off the lions. Really? Believe it or not. Scientists and behaviors have studied, mm -hmm. and they have realized that hyenas really basically kill 95% Wow. of their food. So they're more of a hunter than a scavenger. Yes, and they work in a group. Mm -hmm. So that's what makes them very successful. And they actually even can kill lions too. Really? One of their favorites are, are some of the lion cubs when they're oh my goodness. when they're you know not protected by all the females. So they're excellent wow. predators. Very good hunters. So they get yes. their energy through the meat they eat and in the wild they're gonna yes. eat some wild animals. Right. Here at the zoo, what do we feed the hyenas? Well we don't we don't feed them wildebeest and zebra <laughs> and, and things like that. But what we do is we have a processed meat, it's a canine diet and it's it looks basically like canned meat. And then we also feed them biscuits. Biscuits. Uh, biscuits. They're omnivore biscuits, and they love it, help keep their teeth nice and clean. We feed them ribs. They okay. love bones. They have a, an incredible jaw pressure. The force that they can exert is about a thousand times um, more than any of the other mammals. Really? Uh, and and it, it's, it's absolutely incredible. And what they can do with those huge jaws is crush the bones. They can even eat elephant bones. And I'm not saying just chew on the bones. Mm -hmm. I'm talking eating them. They and eat them, them and digest and that, them. Yes, and that gives them a lot of nutrition as well. Now, of course, they like the meat. There's no, <laughs> there's no doubt about that. But here in captivity, we also kind of supply some other activities um, with meat on them. Okay. And we, today we've given them some watermelon, frozen That's watermelon, where the watermelon comes from. frozen watermelon, which you know maybe weigh 15 pounds or so. Okay. And then we smeared meat on it, and they're enjoying it very, very much. So and they're so, going to eat the meat and the watermelon. They will eat. Yes, they will eat just about everything. <laughs> yes. That's yes, great. Yes. Now here at Riverbank Zoo, enrichment is very important to our animals. We try to stimulate them mentally and physically. What can we do possibly with their diet? their meat and the hyenas to help enrich them. Well, we try not to feed them at the same time in the same location every single day. We try to spice it up. A little right. novelty, a little variety is the spice of life. And so we do have some keepers that are very, very creative and they will kind of toss some different special items in there, maybe some part of their AM diet or their PM diet or a watermelon. Or a watermelon. Yeah. Okay. So it's exciting. The visitors get to see the animals kind of getting excited. Sometimes you can hear them laugh. They are very, laughing hyenas. They, they they do laugh, and that they they do that communication when they're kind of busy and excited. So and the meat gets them yes, excited. and sometimes when they see the keepers, they kind of get cranked up, and so the visitors are able to see what they do in the wild, and you can hear them now. They're 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 pretty <laughs> active most of the time, uh, but we kind of kick it up a notch or two. Um, by just kind of surprising them. With the enrichment. Keeping the environment stimulating for them. Keep it keep it up and Very running. Very good. Mm -hmm. So everybody, come out to Riverbank Zoo to meet some of our carnivores and see ways we can enrich them using their diets.